local self government rural and urban institutions so in this video we are going to learn about the local self government rural local self government gram panchayat panchayat samiti zila parishad and then we will learn about the urban local self government municipal corporation municipal committees so let's start with understanding the local self government a group of persons who are elected by the voters of different constituencies in metropolises cities towns or villages are called elected representative of their region the meaning of local government is as follows a group of officials who are appointed by the state government to look after the affairs of a locality form the local government so it has two type rural local self government and urban local self government so in india the rural local self government is also known as panchayati raj and panchayati raj has three tiers gram panchayat at the village level and panchayat samiti at the block level and at the district level there is jila parishad so at the village level there is gram panchayat and many gram panchayat combinedly form the panchayat samiti and many panchayat samiti form the jila parishad at the district level now let's talk about the gram panchayat gram panchayat is the executive wing of the gram sabha so who all are the part of gram panchayat the members of the panchayat are directly elected by the members of the gram sabha now who all are the member of gram sabha all the voters of that village all the voters of that village are the member of gram sabha the term of gram panchayat is normally 5 years what are the sources of income of gram panchayat so gram panchayat as a source of income from taxes renting fines grants from the state government also gram panchayat need to perform several compulsory and discretionary functions which include administrative social economic and judicial task and that comprises of administrative functions socio economic functions discretionary functions and judicial functions and in some states separate nyay panchayat have been set up to deliver justice in other state the gram panchayat do the job for example in uttar pradesh there is a nyay panchayat for each block of village now the panchayat samiti the work of the panchayat samiti is to coordinate the activities of village panchayat it is known in various state by different names such as taluka panchayat kshetra samiti janpad panchayat taluka development board etc the term of panchayat samiti is usually 5 years now what are the sources of income of the panchayat samiti so it gain income from taxes and also from the grants given by the state government what are the functions of panchayat samiti so panchayat samiti has to perform various functions in the areas of agriculture animal husbandry and fisheries cooperatives communications health and sanitation social education other functions as well the zila parishad at the top of the three tier panchayati raj is the zila parishad as we all just read that the panchayati raj has three tier of government at the village level there is panchayat and at the block level there is panchayat samiti and at the district level there is zila parishad and the zila parishad comprises of 40 to 60 members and the term of zila parishad is usually 5 years the sources of income of zila parishad is from taxes assessments fees on licenses certificates etc also from renting and grants from the state government and funds from the central government as well the functions of zila parishad are to develop agriculture improve irrigation develop marketing develop animal husbandry conservation and development of forests also to develop cottage and small scale industries to construct and maintain roads bridges and culverts to promote rural housing and to undertake poverty removal scheme also to spread education in that area also to encourage small savings and perform tasks given by the state government zila parishad act as an advisor and supervisor of panchayat samiti because many panchayat samitis collectively make the zila parishad now let's talk about urban local self government So, urban local self government has different types like municipal corporation or nagar nigam, municipal committees or nagar palika or municipality. A third one is nagar panchayat. So, municipal corporations are in the bigger cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, etc. Whereas the municipality in the small towns and nagar panchayat as well. Now, let's talk about the municipal corporation. The head of the municipal corporation is known as municipal commissioner. 
and the main function is to run the administration to implement the plans and program of the corporation also to maintain all properties of the corporation the sources of income are taxes cesses renting grants from state government etc now let's talk about the functions of the municipal corporation and its income compulsory or essential function of municipal committees look it is a most widely spread institution of local self government in the urban areas municipal committees comprises of three main parts the general council or the body the chairman or president and the chief executive officer or secretary the term of municipal committee is usually 5 years the sources of income are taxes cess renting grants from a state government and the funds from central government functions of the municipal council comprises of development regulate land use to construct and maintain road streets and lanes name the road registered births and death in that area provides water supply builds and clean drains and prevent adulteration plant trees and maintains parks and gardens provides for street lighting for shelter latrine and urinals that's it in this session thank you so much for watching have a great day ahead